Three ways to streamline your booked call process so that you don't get overwhelmed with the amount of calls that you're taking, you make sure that they're hyper-qualified, and you make sure, most importantly, that you're making an amazing ROI on any time that you spend on sales calls. Now, this is part of a new mini-series where I'm going into questions that have come through my Instagram stories, my Facebook stories, and also my private client groups. Now, this question came in this morning from originally just a few months ago, came in to the private coaching. We scaled his business rapidly uh, to over six figures. He came now into systems of scale with our six multi six and seven figure coaches to further scale his business. And these are the types of questions that come in when a coach is especially at six or multi six figures. They're thinking about how do I streamline my processes now? Very commonly when coaches first come to us, it's about how can we get more book calls? I don't have enough leads. I don't have enough people who want my services. And then we solve that problem and we increase revenue dramatically, the consistency of leads and sales, take away all that overwhelm and pressure of not having leads in their business. But then the next bottleneck comes up, which is, that was great. We're really glad that we solved that. But the next problem is I'm spending too much time on sales calls. So what is the way to streamline it? So let's take a quick look into question here before we look at three solutions to the problem to help you streamline your book call process and make sure hyper qualified people are there you're making as much sales as possible without overwhelm hey team would love feedback on how to streamline our selling process for our big ticket system we can then adapt for the mid ticket which is coming the big ticket obviously works as we are sold out all the time but it's about making things more efficient their uh, high ticket system is a three and a half thousand pound British pound product so that's about 4,200 4,300 in terms of uh, US dollars and they are booked in advance for the next two or three months they're fully booked out first came to us they had one that was just upcoming they had 15 spaces for it and they had three people on the course and they said you know we know this one's not going to be good no pressure but you know we'd like to focus on that in the first game plan we ended up getting them completely sold out without having to discount their product for that one. And now we've got them in the position where they're two or three months ahead, fully sold out all the time. So <laughs> new levels, new devils. So there's new things coming in here. So at the moment, you can either come through a lead magnet and book a call or just come onto our website and book a call. There is actually a third thing there, uh, which is a huge proponent of selling this, uh, which is the masterclass system that we also installed on top of these into their coaching business. So that's another thing that they do about once a month. And then they sell on the other side of the masterclass. It's been super, super successful in uh, in doing so this is a lot of time for on the sales calls especially as some of the calls are uh, about our 399 course and some are uh, even just 100 percent explanatory uh, exploratory i should say so they have three thousand pound program which is their high ticket they have a cap on how many people they can have coming in but we're working on that as well and then they have a much more passive course which is 399 pounds which is you know it's not a bad thing at all on our website we could have a book a call uh, which takes them to a page where they have to watch a video first before they can then book a call so he's talking about getting this to a point where the quality of said leads is significantly higher the uh, percentage of people who end up on the call are there not just for information they're not there potentially for the 399 but he's talking about qualifying them further for the more premium product they will have to watch maybe our most recent masterclass, for example and have some of their questions already answered and if they still want to speak at least we know that they're a bit further down the line in their own minds we don't mind speaking to people of course but it's time consuming especially when those calls are not interested in the live course uh, we had one the other day uh, say after 40 minutes oh i can't afford the big course she still bought the 399 course which is of course great but i'm trying to protect time to any feedback welcome so I have three different options here of how they can maximize their sales adapt their processes for sales calls lead generation and the whole mix there to make sure that there is not overwhelm the most amount of sales humanly possible and the most amount of sales for the the main product so number one right so <laughs> before we go into the other options which are more like solving the problem number one is to step back and potentially lean in right and so the majority of calls are really good quality calls they're buying three and a half thousand pound programs or 399 now to to be able to move it from three and a half k to 399 it's one or the other we've now introduced a mid-tier product so that now it becomes the uh, 3499 or it becomes 2000 right so instead of it being like 
all the way up here or all the way down here, it's all the way up here or a little bit less and that becomes the thing. So we can still use anchoring of speaking about the three and a half K so that somebody can say to us, that's too expensive. And then we go, cool. Well, we can save you 1500 by giving you access to the 2000 pound course, which is, you know, work at your own pace, but it has the same outcomes as the 3499, okay? So when we do this slight adjustment, these calls are gonna have a higher percentage of a higher average order value, which is already gonna be more motivating to of course go on to these calls, which means that number one here is to quite simply lean in and to say, well, actually, I know that we could look at this as a little bit overwhelming. However, if we were to actually look at the product, the prices, the revenue, the growth, etc., if we were to step back and say, instead of removing sales calls or having less sales calls come in, if we just managed to make them a little bit more qualified or we had more people coming in for the, the main product, then that would be tremendous, right? So we could further qualify. It'll give them the opportunity to cancel calls if they don't feel it's the right person coming through anyway. That would be a, a better route to go here. But leaning into this and just saying, actually, if I wasn't to try and remove call times and instead just streamline the process so that I'm not on a 40 minute call, they're all 30 minutes or they're all 20 minutes, getting more efficient with what needs to be there and what doesn't need to be there. You can take, let's say, instead of one and a half calls in a one hour period, you could potentially take three calls. So you can double the volume without doubling the volume of time. Okay, so double the volume of calls without doubling the volume of time associated with being on calls. Okay, so streamlining the calls and leaning in to, hey, we've got incredible calls coming in, the majority of them buy something and we're about to increase the average order value significantly. That's number one right there. The second option here is to further qualify people so that the people who actually come onto the calls, we know that they're actually in the market right now, they're ready to take action and they are within affordability as well. Now, the affordability one is tougher because people lie on uh, application forms and they actually say that their affordability is lower because very often they think that you might have dynamic pricing and therefore they believe that if they were to say to you, I can afford the top tier, that they wouldn't get the most appropriate product they think that they would get they, they would get hit with a higher price point for the exact same product, okay? So in that scenario, sure, you can still have a question around affordability, but it's much, it's much better to number one, just find out if they would be willing to invest in themselves. And then the second thing, and this is a really important question to have on your application forms, is when do you feel like you would be ready to take action? And the answers can be something along the lines of click buttons, but it would be, um, I, I would be ready to take action right now if this was right for me, right? So it's not, it, it's almost like giving them the back out so that they wouldn't lie about this and saying something like, um, I would be willing to take action immediately if this is right for me. The second thing could be, um, I would be willing to take action within the first month. Um, I would be willing to take action within three months from now. I'd be willing to take action longer outside of three months from now. And the people who uh, go for the longer time frames. you can of course have, you can use logic and you can have it go to another question that says, curious, what would be the main reason why you wouldn't be willing to take action right now? And you can have that not as a checkbox, but they actually have to detail that specifically. And it could be like affordability, it could be I've got really busy time coming up. And if you feel like you can overcome those objections anyway, if you feel like they're just, you know, excuses, then you can still go on the call because you can handle that objection. But now you know the objection before you even come to the call anyway. However, if the person says more than three months from now is when they would want to take action, then what you can do is you can have it logic to the end and you can have an end screen that says something on the lines of because you're not willing to take action right now, even if the course is perfect for you, what we'll do is we'll cancel this for right now. However, we encourage you to book three months down the line when it might be a better time for you to get started. By hyper qualifying people on the front end with questions and the appropriate questions, you can not only make sure that the people getting onto the calendar are much more qualified, but second of all, you have more details to number one, cancel calls to free that time up for yourself. And thirdly, it means that any calls that you go on to, you know the key objections before you even jump onto the call. So you're a uh, close percentage at the highest price, po uh, price point possible significantly goes up. You can further qualify in other ways as well. You can have a video that they have to watch before they can book. And so a really common way to do an application funnel is that you take name, email address, and phone number. So it's really low commitment on the front end. They then go to a page 
where it says something on the lines of watch this video or must watch video, please do not book a call below unless you have watched this video to the end. So it's like, number one, you get people more qualified. They know exactly why they're there. All of those boxes get ticked, which is fantastic. But simultaneously, it's actually quite a strong positioning tool. It's like, we don't just want to get on the call with anybody. We're not going to celebrate the fact that you book a call just because you've booked a call. This is like saying to people, you have to work to get onto this call, which gets people much more intrigued about actually working with you and going onto the call as well. So more people actually end up completing the whole process, which is a great thing. So you can have people who are more qualified and you can simultaneously have a higher volume of people actually jumping onto the call as well. We had a really interesting one in our business that we did as a test like six, uh, six months ago where we took our traditional application funnel, name, email address, phone number, they go to an application form and then they go to the calendar on the other side. And just to look at the data, to be able to explain this to, to our clients, we switched it around for a week. And so we did name, email address, phone number, then they went to the calendar to book into the call, and then they went to the application form afterwards. Here's the really interesting thing. A higher volume of people who completed step one got to the end, everything completed, when they had to do the more difficult thing before they got to the calendar. Right, A lot of people say, well, if you would just want the highest volume of book calls possible, then send them directly to the calendar. In some niches, in some specific coaching businesses, especially with very high authority status and the right niche combined together, that can sometimes work. But it's actually quite rare. And I use the example of uh, back in the day when they had cake boxes. So like, you know, muffins in a box and make a cake in a box and all those things which by the way me and my wife absolutely love we, we love those boxes that you add a couple of things in and then you make these like most delicious brownies of all time the paul hollywood ones are absolutely incredible but anyway when the, those first came on the scene they were very difficult to sell they were very difficult to get people to come back to the story goes that they used to have powdered egg in it so all you had to do was pour water in and then put it into a cake tin and then put them in the oven and they came out as cakes or brownies or whatever and then what they realized was that if they took out the powdered egg and they got somebody to crack an egg and put the egg in manually people felt more like they were baking like they had made effort so the perceived outcome of what came out of the oven on the other side was like i made this rather than i took the shortcut it's like i made this we we baked this and the quality of the product is going to be higher because there's a real egg in there, right? So it's the same thing that could be said that is true here about the way that you do your application funnels to make sure that people feel like they earned the right to get onto the call through the application. So the application is incredible for you for qualifying, for understanding their objections and their goals. But then on top of that, also increasing the amount of people that ultimately end up booking a call on the other side as well because they feel like they earned the right to get access to your calendar. Number one was leaning in, but simultaneously streamlining so that the time that is associated with being on the calls is a higher volume for the same amount of time. The second one was about qualification to make sure that the, the people who end up on the calls are either primed for your most premium product and simultaneously, you know that their probability of becoming a client on the other side is significantly higher. And then the third thing here is to lean into team. Now, when coaches come through our 90 Day Ads and Funnels Mastermind or private coaching, and we help them scale to over six figures inside their coaching business, then they come in to systems to scale to go to multi-six, deep multi-six, and over seven figures in their coaching business. One of the things that we focus on pretty much immediately when they come in is three levels of hiring. And we start at step one and then go to step two and then go to step three. Part of step three is those higher level hires, which is gonna be either sales team, so like people who can actually handle a call and close a sale for you. Or second of all, it's gonna be somebody who comes in and helps you with delivery of your product. There are some other categories within there, but those are two of the big ones at the top level of hiring uh, to scale a coaching business. Well, that would be about bringing that person on who can handle the sales calls on your behalf. And it's one thing that you'll have major resistance around. You'll think that, hey, nobody will jump on a sales call with somebody that isn't me and even show up to the call, be responsive on the call and sign up on the call. But what you'll realize pretty quickly is that number one, if they're worth their salt, if they can be there and be valuable to the person, first of all, second of all, there's a high, I'm not sure of the word, but that they would be relevant. Like they, they deserve to be there. They, they're the right person to be speaking 
to the person who's booked the call with you because maybe they've got experience of being inside the program themselves or they've been inside the business for a certain amount of time. Those types of things, rather than it just being somebody who's a professional closer, really amplifies the responsiveness on the other side. And the third thing is, especially if you're a premium coach and you're uh, amplifying your authority status here, this is actually a great positioning tool because if people jump onto a call for instance, directly with myself all the time. Now, I do take calls alongside the the rest of the team that take the high value calls. And then also on top of that, we've got team who take sales calls. So we've got quite a, quite a large team here, but I, I, still, I still take some of these calls as well. But when somebody gets on a call with me, there's always like shock. Like people come onto the calls and they're like, I didn't think I was gonna be on a call directly with you. When people go onto calls with our team, it's almost like there's like gatekeeping there. It's like, well, if you want to get direct access to Neil and be able to jump onto a one-to-one -one call with Neil or jump onto live Q and A's like three or four times a week with Neil inside the programs and have him build your game plan and him give you responses inside the group on a daily basis, in that case, you need to pay to play, right? So it's almost like it amplifies your authority status to have somebody else taking your sales calls. And a lot of people think that if somebody else takes your sales calls, then nobody's gonna show up, nobody's gonna be responsive, and nobody's gonna purchase. But it couldn't be further from the truth. And just about every single coach has the resistance to this. They have those things playing in their head. But the way that you would do this is you would have them take the surplus for a few weeks until you refine their process and their confidence in selling your product. And then once they do the same job or even better job than you can, then they start to take the primary calls. So they're not just taking the surplus of calls, they're taking all of the calls from there. And guess what? One of the most time consuming and energy draining parts of your coaching business has just become zero. Somebody else is doing that. They might even be working on commission only. So no sales, no commissions, no risk. And simultaneously, you now have all of that extra time to deliver your marketing, to do live masterclasses, to do things that bring volume on the front end so that their diaries are always full. You might even bring in a second or third person to take your calls. And then that is how you scale into the multi-six, deep multi-six and seven figures inside your coaching business. So I hope that this has been really valuable to you, me answering a question directly from one of the clients in the group. I've also got a whole bunch of questions from people on Instagram DMs, which has been uh, really, really cool. I would encourage you to number one, if you like this style of me answering real questions from real coaches solving real problems about scaling their coaching business through marketing and systems, then please let me know below that this has been valuable to you. So I'll really lean in and create at least one of these every single week going forward. If you really, really loved it, then hit like and hit subscribe as well. And of course, if you've got a question that you would like me to run through, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's related to marketing or growing a coaching business in any which way, drop that question below and your question might be the next one that we cover on the channel. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.